Hello, welcome to evening prayer for Thursday. And uh, we're not remembering anybody uh, uh, special today. Uh, it's just the 2nd of December. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As darkness, as evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold, behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains tremble in the heart of the sea, though the waters rage and swell, and though the mountains quake at the towering seas. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place of the dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. Therefore shall she not be removed. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations are in uproar and the kingdoms are shaken. But God utters his voice and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord, what destruction he has wrought upon the earth. He makes wars to cease in all the world. He shatters the bow and snaps the spear and burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. If you want to follow the Old Testament reading today, it's Isaiah 44, verses 1 to 8. We're going to Revelation chapter 21, beginning at verse 9. Then one of the seven angels, who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues, came and said to me, Come, come. I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And in the Spirit he carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It has the glory of God and a radiance like a very rare jewel, like jasper, clear as crystal. It has a great high wall with twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and on the gates are inscribed the names of the twelve tribes of the Israelites. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city has twelve foundations. And on them are the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The angel who talked to me had a measuring rod of gold to measure the city and its gates and walls. The city lies four square in length and the same as its width, and he measured the city with his rod, 1,500 miles. Its length and width and height are equal. He also measured its wall, 144 cubits by human measurement, which the angel was using. The wall is built of jasper, while the city is pure gold clear as glass. The foundations of the wall of the city are ordained with every jewel. The first was jasper, the second sapphire, the third agate, the fourth emerald, the fifth onyx, the sixth cornelian, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysophrase, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. And the twelve gates are twelve pearls, each 
of the gates is a single pearl and the street of the city is pure gold, transparent as glass. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, my invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children, forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. So we come to prayer this evening and we hold before God those who lead the nations, who have immense responsibility before God and human beings. Whatever they have been, Lord, guide them to a better place, inform their decisions and help them to bow the knee to you. We hold before God those for whom life is very difficult. Those who have difficult decisions to make and who honestly do not know the right thing to do. We hold before God those who have difficult people to work with. Those who suffer unfair treatment, unjust criticism, unappreciated work. We live before the Lord those who feel stuck in oppressive relationships, those who don't feel they can afford to leave their jobs, those who are uncomfortable with the university or school courses that they're doing. those who are not enjoying the training courses they have to do, those who feel uncomfortable wherever they are placed. Lord Jesus Christ, grant us grace to look beyond our own situation and circumstances and find you to be a resource, a support and our peace. We hold before God those who have difficult tasks to do and to face and fear that they may fail in them. Those who have difficult decisions to make and, honest, and sorry, those who have difficult temptations to face and who know only too well that they may fall to them if they try to meet them alone. We hold before God those who know they can be their own worst enemies. We hold before God those who are sad because someone they loved has died. And any who are disappointed in something for which they hope very much. Recognises a lot of people in those categories. Where they need support, we pray that they'll find it. And that above all, they will hold out their arms and receive the love of God in their circumstances. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now in this, the time of this mortal life in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great 
humility. That on the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal. Through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As we pause and think about tonight and tomorrow and the future, may the Lord grant us grace to wait on him at this time, to draw closer to him, to seek him. Ask him to be more involved in our lives. To give that little bit time out, more time over to pray or to reading the Bible. And the Lord grant us grace to have insights from him as to how we might celebrate Christmas in a way that will speak positively to others, not just about a human love and care, but a holy divine saviour whose love is greater than any human love. Lord, what I've said is impossible for us at one level. But within the weakness and limitations of our human capacity, help us to understand how we can best do this this Christmas time. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.